So I met Yapetch in Tallinn in April at an MIT conference, actually. And um, I'm from Mechanical Engineering, the design group here at Stanford. We have a lot of software companies, as you can see, coming out of Europe who speak here. The majority of them actually are software companies. But because I'm in the design group, I look for, and I have to look for, because uh, I'm at the course is a mechanical engineering course. We are interested in finding interesting design and manufacturing companies that are in Europe as well. So I was immediately struck by Yapic when I met him in Tallinn. He's from Slovenia. Don't conf he's not Estonian. We met in Estonia. Uh, very impressed by what he's doing. But also, this is a different type of com company. First of all, you've, you've been around since 1983, I believe, as, as a company. You're family owned, correct? And they're a design firm, design consultancy, that has achieved major global recognition for its yacht designs and other technologies and projects. So, um, Yapic, welcome to Stanford. Thank you. Thank so you for coming. The yeah. Okay. So, hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here, to be able to tell us uh, what we are doing, to trying to transmit some of our passion for boats and the sea uh, to your group. Uh, so, my name is Japa Cekupin. Uh, our company is called Seaway. I founded it with my brother, Jerne. So, we are from Slovenia, which is an Alpic country. You see, these are the Alps here. This is the Balkan Peninsula with uh, Bulgaria here, Sofia, we heard about it before. Uh, um, of course, uh, Slovenia is not in the Balkan region or Southeast Europe, but uh, never mind. Uh, we are very friendly with everybody around, uh, as you will see. <laughs> uh, so, uh, our national sport is skiing, and the uh, world's best woman skier is uh, Tina Maze. And, uh, uh, the proof that we're a skiing nation is probably you saw me limping. Uh, my knees are bad. <laughs> so uh, our identity, we, this is the national symbol of Slovenia, is the highest mountain, which is called Triglau, which means three heads. Uh, and uh, we think that uh, the high concentration of high-tech small companies in Slovenia is a big part of our identity. We're lying in the crossroad of Europe and uh, tourism is an important part of our economy, so this is how we uh, see ourselves. If we look at uh, tourism, Slovenia is a very small place. You cannot drive more than one hour by car from any, uh, in any direction from Ljubljana, the capital. Slovenia lies about one hour east of Venice uh, by car. So this is the Mediterranean part. Uh, this is Piran on the coast. This is in the Alps, the uh, place is called Bled. Uh, the Austrian border is here and our company is right here, uh, the <laughs> center of the company, <laughs> uh, headquarters, so to say. This is Ljubljana, the town where I live. It's an old 4,000-year-old uh, town with a hill, with a castle, and with a river going around it like all mid-European towns like Salzburg or Prague or the others. Well, uh, when we say crossroad of Europe, uh, to understand uh, Slovenia, you must see that we're on the spot where the th three big uh, cultures and the three big families of European nations touch. You know, uh, the Latin countries uh, are to the west, to the north are Germanic countries, and to the east, the Slavic. And we're always multinational, always multicultural. We had to speak the languages uh, and so on for the past uh, 2,000 years at least. Uh, we are 2 million people in Slovenia. Uh, if you go to examples of uh, small high-tech companies, uh, this is a company of a friend of mine, Pipistrel, which builds small uh, aeroplanes made of carbon. Uh, this one won the NASA award here in California for uh, the record distance uh, transporting four passengers uh, uh, with one gallon of fuel or adequate electrical energy. Uh, this uh, plane took four passengers 405 miles far with one gallon per passenger. So it was the first time understood that the air 
air travel is much, much cheaper and energy efficient than road and the car. Uh, this is uh, another friend of ours, a neighbor and school friend of my brother, Akrapovic. He's building exhaust systems based on uh, titanium and uh, carbon technology. And uh, he's a world champion in exhaust systems from Form Formula One to Ferraris, uh, uh, Lamborghinis or motorbikes. Uh, nobody builds more efficient, which, which means they are lighter, they produce more horsepower in a given car and the uh, more Newton meters, and the, the sound is great. Uh, uh, we are also providers of brain power to some universities like Stanford. Uh, is a <laughs> friend of mine, Jure. Uh, he's not here with us today, unfortunately, but we met last night and he's feeling okay here. Uh, so let's go to Seaway. Uh, uh, here are the founders, my brother and myself. We are both Coming from another profession, uh, boating was hobby. And then we changed our hard work for a hobby. We said this will be very nice just to mess around boats and have fun. It seemed like a great idea. Uh, this is an aerial photo of our, one of our four yards. We have one yard in Italy on the coast. Uh, then we have three yards in uh, Slovenia. This one is in the Alpic uh, region, uh, as you saw before. So our ID card, uh, uh, what is interesting here is that uh, our people come from 14 countries and the language spoken is mostly English to make everybody understand. Uh, we have, of course, designers, engineers. We are probably the biggest European milling center with three big milling machines to mill the stuff uh, we design. And we have all the other stuff we need to be able to work and we own the own uh, three lines of uh, boats uh, green line ship and skagen which we'll talk about uh, what we did in the last 30 years about 270 projects uh, for yards from 28 countries uh, uh, what does not seem difficult to us but seems difficult for example for the big cultures like the french or the americans who have great ease of talking to anybody because we're so unimportant and so small. So for us, it doesn't matter if we go to Vladivostok or to Florida or to Taiwan or China. Uh, we are equally well uh, everywhere. Uh, and uh, of course, if you're around and if you're patient for enough of time, they have these awards, they have to give it to somebody so you get them sooner or later. Uh, So uh, probably we're off internet here, huh? Well, it's Silicon Valley. Yes. Can you try to get it back? It would be nice. We're not off internet. I'm not sure what's going on here. Sorry. Oh, here we are. Here we go. Good. So. Uh, this is a boat we developed for the biggest, world's biggest uh, boat builders, Sea uh, Ray, part of Brunswick Group, a U.S. These are trial uh, sails on a prototype boat. This is a hidden outboard engine uh, uh, boat, uh, quite an interesting new concept. The boat is now sold as Venture 370 Sea Ray, uh, but this is an example of uh, how we developed this uh, concept from scratch, and then uh, the boat is now built in the States. Uh, so we work, we feel well in these three areas, boat development, carbon sailboat building, and we're the biggest uh, provider of hybrid boats. Uh, we serve other industries besides boating. All these industries basically deal with composite materials. So that's why we have technology to be able to serve those industries. Uh, the technologies we use are basically around 3D design and engineering. Of course, things with boats start with tank testing in a, in a uh, tank, uh, tank facility. Uh, sailboats, we uh, always work with the uh, Institute uh, Hasler tank in uh, Gosport in England, and the power boats are tested in Zagreb in Croatia. 
uh, this is an example of an engineering and design of a lifting keel, which is hydraulically operated. Uh, these are some examples of uh, work under the milling machine. These are 20 meter milling machines. These are parts of the uh, hydropower uh, turbines. And these are the wind blade uh, tools. We did in the past years some of the world's biggest uh, wind blade uh, tools. The blades are now 83, 84 meters long one and the power of such a machine is 7.5 megawatts. They're really big. They stand in an ocean somewhere. So uh, the composite uh, technologies are uh, various. Uh, we try to work hard to teach robots to do things which were normally manually uh, done uh, in composite area, replacing uh, manual work with robotic. Uh, we try to, with relatively complex tooling, which is all based on 3D design and engineering, uh, try to speed up the production process. Uh, this is the uh, shipment. the Shipman carbon sailboat. Uh, carbon enables the boat to be very light, so these boats plane are very fast. The, here the speed, where you, uh, you, the first sequences were about 18 knots. Such a boat goes very fast across the oceans. We basically brought the technology from America's Cup and from uh, ocean racing into the domain of uh, cruising. Uh, these are Skagen semi-displacement trawler boats, which are also surrounded with efficiency of the hull so that you can cover a great uh, area of speeds with equal efficiency. <coughs> uh, Green Line is the line we designed in and developed in 2000, end of 7, 8 and through uh, 9. Uh, we invested a lot of money in the time when money was already getting very scarce. Uh, but uh, these boats are uh, diesel electric, fully electric, or, and all are solar powered with zero emission, no noise and no wake sailing, which is a new culture of power boating. Uh, we see that in the last years, the overstatement changed from, uh, uh, from saying I'm the best, I'm the richest, I'm the strongest to I'm intelligent, I'm using uh, design and technology in an intelligent way and I'm respectful to the environment, to the people around me. Uh, we were quite relatively successful in selling 450 boats in the last three years and we developed a range from uh, 33 to 70 feet. And What's the cost per boat? Uh, it starts at uh, 150, 180 thousand dollars, and the bigger boats are around three million. And 450 of those in three years. Yes, that's really impressive. So uh, this is again the Lake of Blid, where uh, the environment uh, is delicate. So. In all the uh, lakes in Europe, uh, it's only permitted to sail with electric engines. This is uh, uh, this lake uh, where the boats can sail in electric, and of course, with a diesel engine, the boat can such a hybrid boat can power through the seas. It's a very seaworthy boat, so it has two ways of uh, sailing. What we work on now. Uh, uh, we work a lot on hydrodynamics. We spend a lot of money in the test, testing uh, facilities, trying to understand how to make hulls more efficient, how the boat would consume less energy. And be a because if you want the boats to move around with electrical energy, then you need great efficiency. So this is a mathematical analysis of uh, tank testing. Uh, this is a boat we designed for the uh, World's Association of, of uh, rowing uh, s uh, sports uh, uh, because these boats should run at uh, something like 16, 17 knots for hours and hours to, to be able to follow the championships and of course they should be electric. 
uh, we work a lot on industrial processes, trying to take work out of the yacht to be able to assemble everything outside and then just to glue the things inside. For example, a 76 footer today, we can complete 95% of the work outside of the boat and then the gluing sequence is 15 minutes. Uh, so it's things changed in the years. Uh, today, uh, we, there's a quite a big trend of uh, using uh, efficient manufacturing facilities somewhere in a place and then shipping stuff in a container to an area where products is, is assembled together. Uh, of course, the process is gluing with composites, which is enabled by jigs and by uh, relatively simple procedures anywhere in the world. Uh, we uh, designed a uh, management system which is used by the Green Line community, by the owners of Green Line boats, uh, where such a green box uh, gathers all the information about the technical things on the boat, which is then transmitted to an iPad and is managed by an iPad. We uh, currently work also on a system where the energy produced by the uh, solar roofs when the boats are sitting in the marina are injected in, into the grid and now we want to enable that Green Line community can use this energy produced also uh, f uh, free of cost, uh, taking it back from the grid. And uh, we think that the fuel cells will be extremely important in the future steps of uh, electrical propulsion because today we are residing on batteries and the problem with batteries is they can store relatively small amount of energy. Uh, so uh, we feel that green boating, it was a word a couple of years back today, it's not a word, it's, a, it's something very true and very real and we think that this will expand in quite an important way. As a conclusion, I would like to say something about the business of our company. Uh, we were sailing very happily uh, uh, until uh, things started to go uh, wrong. Uh, in Europe, for us, the date is uh, 20th September of uh, 2008. Probably in the US you felt it a bit earlier. Uh, the boat market worldwide dropped about 70%. Uh, more in sailboats and a bit less in power boats. Uh, Europe is still very, very depressed. Uh, the other problem, of course, is that the credit markets froze, which made things worse. Uh, what we tried to do to react, uh, we developed the green line, boat line, we diversi diversified in other industries, we turned to markets outside Europe, and with all these three things we were able to grow the turnover and of course at the same time we had to improve on the cost side so our business year last year 13 was best ever in turnover and profit and uh, we have a feeling that we are well positioned for rapid growth whatever the markets do as as long as they don't go down <laughs> dramatically <laughs> This is my uh, uh, email address and our main uh, website and that's all I wanted to tell you and I'd be happy to talk to you and answer the questions which might arise.